My name is Trisha Joy, and I am the host of Card Chaos Live. This video is to help those who want to get into the hobby, but we don't got no, we don't got money like that. <laughs> Three ways to get into the hobby, even if you're broke. You can still get into the hobby even though you don't have a lot of money, but you need to be strategic about it. All right? So I'm going to give you the three things you need to be strategic about to get into this thing. All right? Number one, you have to plan your portfolio. Okay? So your portfolio are the kinds of cards you're going to collect um, by I would say by category. And the categories I think that you should think about are one, the category of stars, the category of number two, uh, your ride or die player, and number three, the these players are about to pop. I'm gonna hold on to these cards, right? So number one, the star players, those are the obvious. You would have your LeBron, you would have your Anthony Davises, you would have your, uh, I guess throw in Zion. Those are your star cards. You're looking out for those. And like, if you see them, you will make a decision whether or not you can buy them. Or if you participate in a break, which we'll talk about later, you will know that you've luckily picked up one of those cards in one of the cheap ways to get into this hobby. So. Number two, your ride or die. I think having a ride or die player is essential. All right. Now I'm talking strictly from an NBA perspective. I love the NBA. I collect the NBA. All right. My ride or die player is Russell Westbrook. You would think Russell Westbrook is paying me to defend him on these walls. All right. Not to say you got to be fighting on a, on, on a wall to then about a player to collect the cards, but I'm saying I'm passionate, all right? So I'm watching Russell Westbrook. I'm I'm collecting his, not only his cards, I have his sunglasses, I have his lookbooks, but like I really love uh, that player and it keeps me grounded. It keeps me passionate about the sport in general. So pick your ride or die and your ride or die may not be a card of high value, right? It may not, but it's good to have the, that that variety in your portfolio. Three, all right. The the last category that I have are the about to pop cards, right? And the about to pop are the players that are they may be like rookies, second years, or like even late bloomer third years that like are starting to see some you starting to see some stuff on the court because you're watching because you're a ride or die player watching the game and you 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 want, you want to collect that card just in case that player becomes a star, right? So recent, most recently, that player for a lot of people was Pascal Siakam. Um, uh, along with like a, maybe a Michael Porter Jr. But like my, my about to pop players for right now, just to give you a little hint, <laughs> Tyler Hero. Tyler Hero is turning some heads right now, right? So... I want a collective to see if he grows into something. Those are my like long-term investments. That's a good a good way to call it. About to pop is your long-term investments, right? So Tyler Hero, I feel like he's gonna make some moves. I'm gonna collect my Tyler Heroes, all right? Um, Jaron Jackson Jr. I like Jaron Jackson Jr. Right? So I'm gonna collect him and see like if he and Ja really turn things up in Memphis, right? Um, also. Uh, Jamal Murray, right? Um, and my wild card. Don't judge me, Bobo. Now, the second, the second thing you need to do, if you're trying to get into this hobby and you don't have a lot of money, is participate in breaks. All right. So breaks give you a break from spending all that money on um, boxes of cards. Right? Cards are not cheap right now. If you are listening to this video, just getting into cards, you will, it is expensive. So you need to be strategic about how you acquire these cards. Uh, I participate in breaks. Uh, that is when I am, I pick a number. I, I, well, I pay some money, right? The breaks are mostly on Facebook, pay some money. 
assigned a number, maybe one through 30 for MBA, right? And that number is then um, given a team randomly by the person running the break. And as they open their boxes of cards, they will um, send me the cards that are aligned with the team that I picked. All right. So let's say if I pick number 15, number 15 happens to be Oklahoma City. Um, All the Oklahoma City cards that come in that pack will come to me. Right. So that's team specific. But again, the cards are mad expensive right now. A box I bought in December 2019 of score NFL, $30. Sorry, $40. And now it is $179. That is expensive. That is a large jump. I don't got that kind of money. But I'm still participating in the breaks. And that's how I'm acquiring my cards. All right. The third thing you need to do. And this is regardless of if you don't have a lot of money or if you do not have a lot of money, you need to get yourself some top loaders and some sleeves. Even though you're not spending big time money in this hobby, you need to protect your little penny investments. Your little investments, protect them because they will, like fingers crossed, be worth a lot of money in the future. So you want to make sure your cards are in pristine shape. All right. Get your top loaders get your sleeves right I have links to that in my description but that will help protect those cards all right so um, it's all about being strategic all right if you like this video go ahead and hit the like button please share it to your friends hit the bell so you can always see when videos come up on this channel (laughs) all right and until next time Keep the chaos alive. Card chaos live.